Hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon links are down below. As always, only support me if you actually can. So this is just a really quick, hopefully two or three minute one. The U.S. broke its electricity demand record again, this time almost reaching a demand load on the grid of 762 gigawatts at the highest point a few days ago here in late July on one of the hottest days, obviously, which was a big factor into which day it ended up being, or the fact that it ended up happening altogether. The previous record was set, I believe, two years ago in summer of 2023 at about 743 gigawatts. Now, the U.S. in general averages in present day about 500 or a bit over 500, usually around 520, through the fluctuation of its different averages across different times of the year. And average demand, like in many countries, is higher during the summer in the U.S. Not just because it's hotter, although that is a decent factor. The higher temperatures obviously mean more air conditioning and cooling systems are running. Not just for people, although that's the first thought usually, but not just for people, houses and buildings, apartments, businesses, but also for stuff. You know, logistics and cold storage facilities are also going to have to be running at higher amounts when it's hotter outside. But the other factors of summer, such as more people travel places, which means a lot of, like, tourist stuff is open in summer that's not usually open the rest of the year, and a lot of a lot of places will have longer business hours. More construction activity happens in the summer because the U.S. specifically has the long summer break school system. People's kids are no longer in school during the summer. So while parents are still obviously going to work every day, instead of the house being empty and quiet at home when they're away during the day, their kids are at home in the summer obviously using stuff, playing games, watching stuff on the TV. So that's a bunch of activity using electricity that otherwise would not be getting used. So those reasons are why the overall demand is higher during the summer in general. But what determines when a peak day is seen or a record-breaking day is usually just when you see the highest temperatures. And U.S. electricity demand is still climbing very slowly. As the advent of energy efficiency adoption by choice over the last 20 years in the U.S. basically kept pace with the increase of U.S. population, as the U.S. population is still increasing for the moment, but as you can see from these graphs, that is not going to remain the same for long. So U.S. electricity demand will plateau in the near enough future, although it's not going to be diving down like a uh, few countries in Europe have done. Anyways, that's it for this one, so thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. You can find those graphs that you saw and any other hundreds of all kinds of other graphs in the link to the drive folder in the description below. There's links to my photography Instagram, my blue sky, and a link in the top and comment to my cat's YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.